Hi guys, so I want to show you, you, you received a new board from us and I'm going to show you how you replace it. Uh, so all the tools that you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. I recommend having a small little flathead screwdriver. Helps you plug the, the, uh, the little plugs in. Um, you might have, might have a Sharpie on hand and just a clean, uh, a clean cloth. Okay, so uh, you guys uh, remove the screen. Uh, I know you guys know how to do that because you put the machine together. Uh, and I recommend uh, laying it down on top of a towel. This way you're not scratching the plexiglass uh, cover on the LCD. So the first thing you do is, um, here's the box and, and the board is right inside here. So there are just two screws right here that hold the board down. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna take those two screws out. Now what you do is you just lift it up and you just spin it around. And you notice that there's a, you know, there's a bunch of wires right here, there's a ribbon cable. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this ribbon cable. I recommend uh, just holding the ribbon cable on both sides and just pulling up. And you might recommend just putting a little dot right there. This way we know that's the end that we want to plug All in. All right guys, so uh, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, unscrew the board from this little backer right here. I recommend taking off this first screw right here. Holds this wire down. Let's just take these other off, these other screws out. Okay, after you have all the screws removed, all right, you can just you can just grab this wire harness and let's pull the board out. Uh, now we're just going to remove uh, these two plugs. Um, so I'm gonna take this black one right here. I'm gonna take it by the plastic housing and I'm just gonna pull up on it and unplug. Just remember that the red wires are to the left. And then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this plug right here. But I recommend, this is where your little flathead screwdriver comes in, the bottom half of this. So just make sure you, you push down a little bit on there just to hold it down. And then it should just should unplug. See, some plugs like that. And there you have it. So I took the old board out and I'm going to stick the new board in. All we do is we drop it in exactly the same position we had before. And now I'm going to just uh, screw it back in. Screw in these three screws. All right, so you just uh, finished screwing in these three screws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug back in these little wires with these plugs. And the first one I'll do is the last one I took out. Just wanna note these little, these little ridges on this white white plug. They, those little ridges rest on this inside plug right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug it in. And this is where that flathead screwdriver comes in. I just like to push it down a little bit, just make sure it's all the way down. We're gonna plug in this black plug, and all you do is just hold onto it right like this, and push down just right on top of that like that. Push it in there. I recommend using your flathead screwdriver and just, just making sure it sits nice in there. Okay, now we're just gonna connect this last wire, and pretty simple, just push it down here like that.
All right, so the last step now is we're just gonna uh, replace the ribbon cable. Remember, we put a little uh, little dot here to recognize which side, so we didn't forget. All right, and all we're gonna do is you see that little notch right there that, that goes right into that slot right there. So we're just gonna push it in there. Okay guys, the next step is, what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna flip the box around, right? And we're gonna tuck the wires into the box, right? And we're just gonna line up uh, these two, you know, hold up to the clip. And we're just gonna, we're gonna put this, these little screws back in. Guys, so we, uh, we replaced the board. Now all I have to do is reassemble it, 